I was talking about heart murmurs and the role of the pediatrician or primary care practitioner in detecting heart disease and deciding which patients with murmurs should be referred to a cardiologist. The doctor listens with a stethoscope and doctors uh, are trained to recognize different kinds of murmurs and which ones might represent something significant and which ones are likely innocent or normal. Well, most children who have heart murmurs are fine. First place, the vast majority of children who have heart murmurs don't have heart disease. They just have a noise in their heart, but there are many, many innocent murmurs, and most murmurs are not abnormal at all. So of course there's nothing to look for because the child is healthy. Most lay people, most non-doctors, think that kids who have a heart problem should be restricted in their activity, but that's not true. There's only a small number of heart problems where the child should be actually restricted from doing something. And in all the other heart problems, they can do whatever they can do. So we really owe it to our children to let them participate in everything just as much as they want to and as much as the other children are. We don't want to single them out, and we don't need to. So sometimes the worst problem the child has from his heart is that his parents or perhaps his grandparents or coach or teacher is restricting him rather than that his heart is. I think the most important question the parent should ask is how worried should I be? Most of the time a pediatric visit that turns up a murmur doesn't even require any heart tests or a referral to a cardiologist. And the pediatrician will say, I know this is an innocent murmur, there's nothing to worry about, you're fine. If he or she thinks it should be checked out just in case, they're more likely to also say, I'm not really worried, we're just being sure. Little Jimmy, little Susie is doing great, and I'm not seriously worried. The other important question to ask is, should we do anything different between now and the time we see a cardiologist, if you're sending us to one, or should we just keep that appointment? Most of the time the answer is just keep the appointment and try to relax.